This might be the best water filtration system on the market today for backcountry backpacking, hunting, and fishing. This tiny package here consists of the Sawyer Squeeze water filter and the Canuck two liter water bag. The filter itself weighs three and a half ounces and the bag weighs about 2.8 ounces. You get a combined just over six ounce weight in this tiny package. When you purchase the Sawyer water filter, it comes with some accessories, including a syringe to back flush the filter to clean it, as well as several bags like this to allow you to filter water through. You can set all that to the side because what I'm gonna show you today does the same job, but it does it better and more efficient. I have been using this same water filtration system for years. I've drinking out of pristine mountain creeks as well as gross mountain puddles. I've never had an issue with this bag breaking or failing or the water filter failing and I've never got sick. The Sawyer Squeeze also has a really great flow rate uh, allowing me to filter up about a liter a minute depending on how well I'm taking care of my filter aka back flushing it. Now, all three of these items, the Canock bag, the classic gas station water bottle and the Sawyer Squeeze all have the same 28 millimeter thread. So what that means is that you can exchange the Sawyer Squeeze from your water bag right onto your water bottle. So you could potentially drink right from the bag or if you do somehow get a hole in your bag, you can drink right from the water bottle. Also, if you accidentally forget your water bottle at home, whoops, uh, you could stop by a gas station along the way, pick up any of these Smart Water Essentia type water bottles, and it is compatible with the Sawyer Squeeze. Now you could use something like one of those classic hand pump water filters where one tube goes in a creek or a puddle and one tube goes into your water bottle. Those are big, uh, heavy, clunky, uh, expensive, and don't have the same versatility as the Sawyer Squeeze and Canock bag. You could also use something like a SteriPen, but SteriPens are expensive. They have batteries that you have to replace or recharge. To use a SteriPen, you have to have a wide mouth water container like a Nalgene, which is bigger and heavier than something like this. You also have to stand there for several minutes and stir the water with the SteriPen to sterilize it. You can't just passively filter your water uh, whilst doing other chores like you can with this system. I'll show you that in just a minute. There's also systems like the Bee Free, which is pretty popular. Uh, but that has some of the same problems. I see it's not as compatible or as versatile as the Sawyer and Canock bag. So to me, I'd rather just stick with the, uh, the Sawyer squeeze and the Canock water bag. If you're coming up to a section of a hike, <laughs> stupid flies. If you're coming up to a section of a hike that you know is gonna be a long time without water, well, you already have a built-in two liter water bag. So you can fill up all of your water bottles. I usually carry two one liter water bottles or one one and a half liter water bottle. So that would give me anywhere from three and a half to four liters when I fill this up and take it with me. And no need to carry an extra water bag because I already have this one on me. Another great feature of this water filtration system is that one end of the Canock bag opens up extremely wide. So you're able to fill up your water bag uh, from sources that are very small and or shallow that you wouldn't normally be able to get uh, your average water bottle into. Before we get into this little piece of magic wizardry right here, let me know in the comments what water filter are you guys using? What do you think is the best water filter for the backcountry out on the market today? And of course, if you wanna go check out any of the items in this video, I'll put links down in the description box down below. If you wanna turn this already great water filtration system into a God tier water filtration system, pick up this little blue wizard ring right here. This little blue ring allows you to do so much. It's only about $3 and weighs way less than an ounce. Also, go pick yourself up or run out to your garage 
and grab some twine or string and attach it to your top of your Canuck bag. With the addition of the small blue adapter ring, you've now taken your water filter and turned it into a system you can use actively or one that you can just set it and forget it. So if you're on the trail and you stop by a body of water for some lunch or you just get to camp, you can literally just hang your system. It's an inline system. You can just hang it on a tree branch, uh, on your trekking pole, wherever, and it will passively filter the water for you. And that, in my opinion, turns this into a God tier system. Also with the addition of the little blue adapter ring, you can now back flush your filter without attaching or disconnecting anything. So every time you use your filter, you can literally give it a little back flush. That will save the life of your filter by a long time and save you money. So the Sawyer Squeeze water filter, the two liter Canock water bag, relatively inexpensive, easy to use, small, lightweight, and efficient. If you guys are using what you think is a superior water filtration system out in the backcountry, please leave me a comment and let me know. I'm always loving discovering new gear. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.